and the last method that we have is the fast decoupled load flow. So, this is similar to the Newton Raphson method. What we took in Newton Raphson method, we took a Jacobian matrix, right? So, what was the Jacobian matrix? Delta P delta Q is equal to minus J11 minus J12 minus J21 minus J22. And this is delta 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 mod V, right? So, what is minus J11 here? This is the partial differentiation of the real power with respect to the voltage angle, right? And minus J12, this is the partial differentiation of the real power with respect to the voltage magnitude. And similarly, minus J21 is it's going to be for the reactive power, do Q by do delta. And minus J22, this is do Q by do V. Okay. So, now the real power, what is it more sensitive to? It is sensitive to the voltage angle. Right? The real power is going to be dependent on voltage angle. Similarly, the reactive power, it is going to be dependent on the voltage drop. Right? We have discussed this already in voltage control. The voltage drop will be uh, influenced by the reactive power. That is why we have done reactive power compensation as well. Right? So, what it happens in fast decoupled load flow is everything is same just like the newton raphson method. The only change that we are doing is because the real power is more sensitive to changes in delta as compared to mod V. It's almost there is no change. So, when there is no change, what does this mean? The differentiation when you do, it simply comes out to be 0 because the real power is not changing with respect to the magnitude of the voltage. Okay? So, this you are taking to be 0. Similarly, the reactive power. So, the partial differentiation of reactive power with respect to the voltage angle that is going to be 0. Okay? So, that is what you are going to substitute here. So, what will you get? The final expression delta P delta Q this will be equal to minus J11 0 here 0 minus J22. Here you have delta delta and delta V. Now, you can see here when you write these equations, delta P is equal to this row into this column, right? Minus J11 delta delta. So, you can write delta P is equal to minus J11 delta delta. It is not dependent on delta V. And delta Q is equal to minus J22 delta V. Such a matrix equation, it is called as the decoupled equations okay decoupled equations why is that because you can see that each of the equation has only one variable here you have only one variable delta mod v right this is mod v so such equations we call as decoupled equations so this is the fast decoupled load flow the method is same as Newton-Raphson, only these changes in the Jacobian matrix you have to 